difficult. Well, it could be um, a good shot when you've got a bit better clouds or maybe even a bit more softer light in the evening time. It's a bit contrasty at the moment. I'll have to come back another day. Let's try this again. Well, this might be an interesting shot, but I think I've just missed the light on this one. So I'm have to come back slightly earlier when the sun's a bit higher to get it catch the light. Uh, but not today. My feet are killing me. The shoes have got on a too lightweight weight for this terrain, so they're not moving with my feet. So I'm going to call it a day and then head home now. Well it's a couple of days since I did the reconnaissance and I'm up at the lime kiln with the hanging tree and uh, it's not quite how I imagined it would be. I was hoping there'd be a, bit, a few clouds but it's just a blank blue sky but I'll just do it anyhow and maybe put in a sky replacement later um, or it may be a, I'll render it as a black and white so that's the plan now I'm just going to talk you through what I'm going to do well this is the, uh, the lime kiln kiln and the hanging tree <laughs> so what I'm gonna I've done is I'm shooting at, um, I've shot one at a, a selection at 100 ISO, but because the, as you see, the tree's moving around a lot in this breeze, I've put it up the uh, ISO up to 320 ISO, uh, because basically because for some reason you get a better noise reduction at 320 ISO rather than going up to the 400 ISO or even below that it's something to do with 
the electronics and how it's processed and all that sort of thing but it's what I, it's what happens on, I've learned on the internet and it seems to be a marginal Im improvement so I've just shot it at that and now usual thing f11 I think it's uh, 160th a second at 3000 no sorry 320 ISO and there you have it so what I'll do now is I'll just wait until that shadow creeps in so it's covering where's it gone yeah what is it? Uh, those rocks there and maybe this shadow here will advance over there a bit you see and uh, just so that the just the kiln there is the only thing sort of lit on the edge of this tree uh, and hopefully this bit might go as well so it'll have a whole bit of darkness and just the highlight of the side of the old lime kiln and the, the catch light on the tree that's the plan I'll leave this run in to see what you think Well, even though this looks nice, I can't find a composition in it. And I also daren't go down there because there's a few dead branches hanging in the trees, swaying in the wind. Uh, I'm not gonna risk them falling on my head. Well, I've gone for that tree there. And I've just uh, used a combination of tuning at 100, 160, 320, 640 and the combination of image stabilizer on and image stabilizer off all shielding the camera from this steady wind because uh, I'm shooting at 400 millimeters it's quite long and it's just bouncing around also the image stabilizer was having this weird drifting around sort of look <laughs> I couldn't guarantee whether it was going to actually uh, do anything right, so I've just hedged my bets and just shot it at that.
I saw this uh, when I was coming down. In fact, I had to move the car so I could get the shot. So a nice piece of agricultural dereliction. It used to be an old farmhouse. You can't believe it, can you? So what I've done is I've focused on one of those metal supports of, the, of that tank. So back button focus. There we are. 100 ISO, F11, and just let the camera take it over. See, it's long exposure because it's getting dark. That's a normal exposure. That's the shadow exposure. No, it isn't. That was a fast exposure. <laughs> What's this one? This is the highlight exposure, or long exposure. I'll just check them. Ah, it's still blowing out the uh, still blowing out the highlights on the sky, so I'll do one. See that should uh, give me some options to put some bit of um, texture back in the sky. Yeah, that's it. So that minus two stops. So, that's it I think for now. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Oh, midges. Oh, God. Right, get in the car now. Bad enough. Ah. Well, look what I have found. I can't do much of a vlog for this bit because I'm running out of power on my old vlogging phone. So, what I've done is come here, I've taken a portrait version and a landscape version and just oh, bracketed like Billy O. So, I've done it so retain a bit of. Um, detail in the light and then one halfway halfway between each exposure and one retain detail in the shadows yeah I've got to go now because I'm standing in the middle of a road also the residents are not uh, used to people walking around and talking at night <laughs>